Uh, everyone's playing the same crap again. It's all Link Cross Synchro Virtual World Zoo. I could go on. The fact that you can keep going in itself means that not everyone's playing the same thing. I mean, shit, I uploaded something random that works just last week, and before that, I uploaded a new version of Cyber, Cyber Dragon. Dragons. Yeah, but it still uses the same Link Cross and Marcher combo that everyone else uses. And your Light Sworn deck was way too luck based. Must we have the same argument every time there's cool generic cards in the game? Everything needs to get banned! <laughs> yes, especially right now with your goons. There's too many broken decks out. It should all get banned or Maxi should come back to six. You're right. <laughs> now, I did say that Maxi should come to six because that's hilarious and, well, sadly true, but I never said that everything should get banned. Matter of fact, I don't think anything will get banned on this next list except maybe Link Cross. Why not? Because Power Creep's the name of the game, Eugene, baby. Yeah, and where has that gotten us? Pay to win decks with unlimited combos. It takes four hours to finish a duel! Once again, you could always, one, play anti-meta, or two, build something yourself, or at the very least, take something old and modernize it. Anything that I could make would still have less than it could do compared to a meta deck. Okay, what meta? What even is this meta that I keep hearing about? Does, does it exist? Does it exist if it's only online? Because I don't know about any tournaments. Once again, I uploaded something just last week that's pretty luck based just last week or whatever. Yeah, I get it. But not even Yu-Gi-Oh! Jesus can make a deck that's that broken that can actually win. You know, when you're right, you're right, Eugene. I know it. I totally can't power up to, let's just say, 1% and make a deck that's so broken then it's limited by the mechanics of the game itself. No, I can't do that. You thought there was a lot of noise with the combos last time, Eugene? That was nothing. You're not gonna sleep for days now because of your lack of faith. And when you do finally sleep, you will dream of nothing but the stock sound effects of EDO Pro. Jeez, stop! Ugh. Why you always gotta take it that far? For the fans, Eugene. For the fans. It's for the fans, Eugene! It's for the fans! Take the fan out of his room so he can't sleep! Jerk! Use this deck at your own risk! It was made using 1% of my power after all! And I'm telling you guys, that Fluffle, Light Sworn, Danger, Synchron, Clown Blade deck, that, that was a cool deck, but it is nothing compared to this madness. I put that deck out preparing you guys for this madness. This deck does so much that I hated. I really hated getting replaced with this deck. It's, it does too much. There's too many options and the extra deck is too limited. This, this needs a 30 card extra deck or something. I even sent this deck profile off to my fan Nanashi on my Discord server and I was like, hey, help me try to get this deck ending with consistent boards. Help me fine tune the extra deck. He sent me back replays titled, Is the Deck Smarter Than Me? Not Bad for a First Try, etc, etc. The reason why is because this deck does way too much. Then he messaged me again later and says that we should call the deck Smash Mouth. And I was like, why Smash Mouth, man? And he says, because it starts coming and it don't stop coming. <laughs> so, yeah, this deck... It is maddening trying to play it because it has too many options. It does way too much, and this deck could use three Leve Air, three Skull Dread, on top of everything else that you see in this extra deck. It needs a lot more than what you're seeing, which is why I just filled up the side deck with a whole lot of other random stuff. This thing could even, I even put rank eights in there because I mean, why not? You could make rank eights, I don't know. I just put all these things in the side deck because it can make all of them and, and more and way more. So obviously just like last time I arranged these cards in a way that is easiest to talk about. Um, on the top row we have your zombie engine, um, the three unit zombie, three Mizuki, Mizuki's best card in the deck basically. Um, one zombie master, um, I like zombie master because it has that lumina effect where you can discard. It's only monster just like quick draw synchron so you can't discard toy vendor with it but um, being able to have another level four that has that discard effect that you can get out of the graveyard with Mizuki. So in other words having a zombie you can get out of your graveyard with Mizuki that's not a tuner or another Mizuki. Uh, pretty good stuff and the Zombie Master is just insanely good. Um, I only play one of it though. You don't need any more than one. You don't even need the one really. It's just a really cool card in the deck. The next
next up, uh, Plague Spreader Zombie. You only need one Plague Spreader Zombie. It's level 2 tuner, enables the marcher combo, all that stuff. It also pairs well with our honorary zombie, Destiny Hero Malicious. Um, I've included this uh, guy in the zombie lineup since the Teladat days <laughs> because it's level 6. 6 plus 2 is 8. So, you know, we used to go into Beals um, back in the day uh, using that combo. I actually have Beals down in the side deck just to show you can make that in this deck as well. This deck can make I mean, all kinds of stuff. It, it is limited by the extra deck. And I know that I just said the Mizuki's the best card in the deck, but Charge of the Light Brigade might be the best card in the deck because it mills three and then adds a Lumina or a Minerva. Which one, whichever one you're missing. Hey, hey you might want to stop. You might want to stop. Kevin's on the phone. What? He said, he said the new list just came out. Why would they drop it this early? Five oh, days no. In the middle. He's being an asshole right now. Just, just leave. Just leave. Get the fuck out of here. I didn't mean it. I'm just upset. Sorry. Jerk. Seriously, just in the middle of me making the video and everything. They were scared of this. I have never had a list drop in the middle of me making a video, especially five days before the list is supposed to come out. Don't ever doubt my powers again. Let's see about this new list though. Dragon Buster Destruction Sword. That's a good man. Yeah, that is really annoying. That that card's yeah, that card's not fair. That needed to go. Link Cross though. I don't agree with this. Just because Link Cross is such a fun card, it brought Synchros back. I mean, without Link Cross, would we be using as many Synchros? We would still be using a lot of Synchro monsters, but a lot more because of Link Cross. Link Cross is such a fun card. A lot of people will be like, man, you're defending Link Cross. That card's so broken. The card's fun. There's not... What, what, once again, what meta? What, what even is this meta? <laughs> it's just, just moving on. Smoke Grenade of the Thief. Now, that one I saw coming just because it's such an old card that... Obviously has gone overlooked for a long time. Um, be prepared for a lot of those cards in the future. I've discovered uh, uh, several myself that I've thought about buying out uh, that reveal hand and you know all kinds of stuff. Just old Yu-Gi-Oh cards. What I'm saying here is be prepared for just old obscure Yu-Gi-Oh cards to randomly get hit um, on the ban list because they're included in all kinds of different decks for years to come. Be expecting that for a while because um, there's, there's the card pool is so vast that people are going to figure out whatever they're going to figure out and they're going to take advantage of it. Just that simple. And Smoke Grenade of the Thief, thief uh, being able to uh, Rob from your opponent's hand and stuff is not very fair. It's not fair in GOAT format. It is definitely not fair in, uh, you know, decks like uh, Metal Foes and stuff like that. Uh, moving on, though, um, is that about it? That, I think that's about it. Oh, no, we have True King's Return back to... Oh, so back to two, so it's semi-limited. Okay, okay. And then off the list, we have Sir Graf. Okay, so we have full power burning abyss now. Three tour guide and everything. Okay, okay, okay. The uh, Farber's gonna be happy. I, th I think a lot of burning. Once again, I've stated this in the past. I wish I would have picked it. Like uh, I picked up burning abyss back in the day. I wish I would have stuck with it because I would still have a deck. <laughs> like, oh my gosh, burning abyss players that like just stuck with that deck from Duelist Alliance on. They're lucky. They're so lucky. <laughs> but moving on. Because how often do you do you get to buy a deck and it's good for, you know, 20 years? It never happens in Yu-Gi-Oh! It gets banned like a month later. <laughs> but yeah, uh, Sir and Graf, unlimited, nice stuff. Uh, if gets she a Mind Angus, I... Sure, like, yeah, it's not really doing it. I mean, what's Gishki doing or whatever? Um, ABC Dragon Buster Unlimited. Now, that is interesting. That is interesting. Uh, that's, a, that's a pretty good deck and totally awesome. Yeah, but what, what if, I mean, is anybody playing Toad Hero? I don't think I've seen Toad Hero. I don't think I've, I've seen it at all. So, yeah, to totally hero, uh, you know, totally awesome hero. Not a thing, so, uh, you know, it, it, that can come off, I guess. But, yeah, 1% of my power is all it took to make a deck so broken they dropped the ban list five days early when for the past two years they've been dropping the list consistently more like five days late. Coincidence? I think not. Actually, I know not. It's almost like I have powers or something like I'm always saying. Subscribe! <laughs> <laughs>